947, time now to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, making that hissing sound as he pops open a Diet Pepsi for us this morning. <laughs> Pop rock. Oh, yeah. Right. Choose your flavor. Yeah, well, Choose your flavor and rip it open. All right, I'll go with original cherry. All right, so Pop Rocks are the candy that explode in your mouth. Right. right? So let's let's demonstrate that. To oh, okay, back. excellent. Mm -hmm. sound? Mm -hmm. no. yeah, yeah. It, it does make it a little difficult to talk, though, doesn't it? It does, but it's delicious. Well, you want to wash <laughs> it down with a little Pepsi? No. Why not? Because of the rumor that goes around, your stomach's going to explode. That's right. That's right. <laughs> There's this myth that uh, if you eat Pop Rocks and drink some cola, mm -hmm. your stomach explodes. Right. So let's do an experiment. Let's try it. What? Let's try it. <laughs> but, 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 put, put them down, though. You're not going to okay. do it in your mouth. This right here, this is your stomach. Yeah. Ideally, with all the cola that's gone through your mouth, down your esophagus, and it has all the gas still dissolved in it. Just sitting okay. there. Okay. Now, actually, take your Pop Rocks. Okay. We're going to fill up a balloon with Pop Rocks. Okay. This is going to be kind of like if we drank or ate all the Pop Rocks and somehow could get them down to our stomach without dissolving any of them. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this balloon on top of our model stomach, <laughs> and you, Tony, are going to. Then gently lift the balloon up, releasing. And dump or them all inside. So go, I'll step back. You just go ahead and okay. do it. Just lift, lift all right. it up. And this is an over the lips through the gums. Get them, get them right in there. There you go. All and right. so. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, we're getting a little bit of gas, a little bit coming from the Pop Rocks and some from the cola. But this, this is not a gut busting no, volume of gas. I, I've had worse. This is, this is like a little burp. Okay? Yeah. That's a burp. And see, the problem is when Pop Rocks are made, what they do is they heat up the sugar in a chamber that has lots of carbon dioxide gas, and they cool the sugar. It traps little bubbles of CO2. Okay. That's why it explodes in your mouth. Um, but the Pop Rocks don't really have that rough surface on the outside to uh, release a lot of the gas, like Mentos do. Oh no, oh no. Mentos, on the outside, they have a very, here, let me give you some of these. Uh. They have a rough surface that if this were to drop into the Pepsi, we could release a lot of the CO2 gas that is in the Pepsi. Now, I'm not suggesting you're thinking this, right? That you're gonna chug some Pepsi and then eat the Mentos and then... Yeah, that would probably be a bad idea. It's not gonna work, right? Because <laughs> once you put the Mentos in your mouth, you remove some of those nucleation sites. Okay. You kind of smooth it out, it doesn't work so well. And it's really hard to get all this Pepsi into your stomach without burping or losing some gas. So, That's what true. we could do is we could take another bottle and we could have you drop, I don't know, get like five or five or six of the oh Mentos boy. in your hand. Oh boy, oh boy. And this is a really cool thing you can do outside though. Yeah, in the summertime, outside, right? notice we're inside. You can drop we just them had the in. carpets clean too. But but, but wait. Yeah, okay. Now, we, we, we could do it with this, and, okay. and that'll work. Yeah. But I thought it would be better <laughs> if instead of that we do like. Whoop, whoop. That's okay. We've got protection on the on the ground. That's okay. Let's do there it with go. a two liter bottle. <clears throat> so the idea here is Mentos have nucleation sites. <laughs> Ross is going for cover. <laughs> the uh, when the candy drops into the C the cola with CO2, yeah. a lot of that's going to come shooting out. So if you can drop all five in at once. At once. Yeah, just, just, this is, you're asking a lot. Get, get them all in there really quick. Ready? Three, two, one, drop them in. Take your hand <laughs> away. Yeah, there you go. All right. There's you, Carl Nelson. <laughs> I said, get away quick. But you get the idea here, right? This is kind of what you were hoping for. Sure. With the, with that's the pop exactly rocks what I was hoping stomach. for. It's not going to happen, though. <laughs> it is very cool in a two liter bottle outside. Yep. Um, drop them in quickly, take your hand away. Yeah. Get that nice And geyser. be careful out there. Be Make careful. sure you get it on camera, too. You know, it's always fun to share. Thanks very That's much cool. for sharing. Carl sure. Nelson, dispelling the rumors about Pop Rocks. And you can check out more at the Imagination Station. I've actually seen them do this outside in the summertime. I think that's over, though. But it's uh, open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and tomorrow from noon to 5. Thanks again, Carl. We're going to turn <laughs> it over to Dave with sports.